Use a smartphone as a dial-up modem? Most cell phones today have an audio jack that works as both output and input for sound. That's why there's headphones today with built-in microphones for making phone calls. Now then, is it possible, using this two-way audio jack, to make a dial-up connection from my PC, using a software modem, through my phone? No. Analog telephone modems, aka POTS, plain old telephone service modems, worked because when the traditional telephone network, aka the PSDN, public switch telephone network, digitized the audio, it did so with 8-bit samples 8,000 times per second, for a total of 8 bits 8 kilohertz equals 64,000 basis points digital audio. It wasn't possible to fully utilize that full 64 kilobits per second for data because of problems with the analog and LT, and GT, digital conversion, AC slash DAC, but if you had a digital modem on a digital phone line, like an ISDNB channel, you could send at 53 to 56 kilobits per second through a single DAC. But from the analog line, you could only send 33.8 kilobits per second through a single AC. But the problem with cell phones is that they've never provided a full 64 kilobits per second digital audio channel like the landline PSDN did. They use lossy codecs to compress your voice audio down to fit into a 9600 basis points channel. So if you want to try to do audio modulated signaling over that channel, I think you'd be lucky to get 4800 basis points. 4.8 kilobits per second equals 0.6 kibibytes per second, out of it. And that's assuming you design custom modulation schemes to get the most out of what that audio channel gives you. I have no idea if any of the traditional modulation schemes used by POTS modems would work well over GSM voice channels. For all I know, an off-the-shelf POTS modem may just completely fall on its face and not even be able to sustain the ages old 300 basis points rate over a GSM voice channel. Update, I found a reference online that said that doing analog audio modulation over GSM voice channels was typically limited to 2400 basis points so my estimate above was quite generous. This goes a little outside the scope of your question, but note that technologies existed to make dial-up-like connections over digital cellular networks but without the severely rate-limiting analog complication of hooking a POTS modem to the headset jack of the cell phone. One solution was called circuit switch data or CSD, and usually involved hooking your computer to your cell phone via a serial connection of some type, using traditional RS-232 or RS-422 style serial interfaces or IRDA in the old days, and USB or Bluetooth more recently, and having your cell phone give that serial interface direct access to the 9600 basis points data connection to the wireless carrier's equipment. Inside the wireless carrier's network, your 9600 basis points data stream would be fed into a digital modem hooked up to a digital phone line, so you could use this technology to make a 9600 basis points modem call to any modem on the PSDN. CSD was followed by high-speed CSD, HSCSD, which was like CSD except your cell phone would use four GSM voice channels simultaneously, so you'd be able to make tilde 56 kilobits per second connections, just like, in the downstream channel at least, the last era of POTS modems, V.90. Over digital cellular technologies like GPRS and Edge, it was possible to use that serial connection to the phone to do PPP, but that wouldn't have worked to just any modem hooked up to any phone line, the other end of your PPP connection would need to be a PPP server that receives its PPP connections not from modems, but over IP, tunneled in L2TP. 
This was common among ISTs that outsource their dial-up modem POPs to third parties like Level 3 and UNET, and is still common today among DSL ISPs, that's why so many DSL services require POA or PO. TL, Doctor, to answer your specific question, no, it is probably not possible to hook a POTS modem via headset jack to a cell phone and make a successful connection to a modem on the PSDN. If it connects at all, it will probably only use extremely low data rates, even as POTS modems go, and be glitchy and unreliable. However, there are, or have been, other ways to connect a computer to a cell phone to make dial-up modem calls or PPP connections. Not a direct answer, but a curious one. While it is impossible to use legacy modems with cellular voice channels, it is, in fact, possible to design a specialized modem which will work over it, more or less by plugging into a handset jack, as Op desires. This is a useful feature, because data coverage may not be available in the remote areas where data communications may still be required, to support atoms and F terminals, to name the most common need. Voice channel has highest communication priority and will keep operating even if data services are completely overflown, by a massive crowd or spike in usage. IEEE article describing a possible approach. This URL. had previously connected a cell phone to analog modem, before data tethering was available. Used a cell phone dock that had connections for an external speaker and external microphone, and then used a Heathkit ham radio phone patch to isolate, null, audio in from audio out and provide a balanced telephone connection. Made a virtual phone line with filtered DC to make the modem happy, and connected the phone patch to it. Manually dialed the modem dial-up number on the cell phone, had the modem connect with an 18th command that ignored lack of dial tone and dialed one digit. This worked for many calls to a landline based modem. At the time 9600 baud was the norm, would think you could probably get 28800 or 33.6k out of the setup. Tried it with an Ameritech, landline carrier, connected cell phone, the cell phone calls were echoed without the setup and would not do a connection at all with a modem. Had another same model cell phone on cellular one, wireless carrier, the normal cell calls were crystal clear, when hooked to the setup it provided dial-up modem calls from all around my state and nearby states, as well as long distance modem calls from outside the area. Also had a normal desk phone so they could do test calls through the setup, if there was a question about it working. If you are talking about converting your phone's data connection to the cell provider into a dial-up signal to input into dial-up modem, this may be possible and would probably overcome most of the issues that others are talking about. If you were trying to use the cell phone as a dial-up modem that would be a different story. If you could figure out how to convert your data connection to the same signal you would still have to find an audio jack to phone line adapter and then plug it into a dial-up modem, in which you would only be able to achieve the data speeds of the dial-up modem. Thank <laughs> you.